I'm going to talk to a couple of the children and what their lives are like now and how this prep school got away with nearly ruining their futures. Katie Brenner is a New York Times reporter. She broke the story. She's going to join us to talk about it. It's incredible. And uh, my friend Soledad O'Brien, the award-winning journalist, yeah. is going to join us. Soledad doesn't shy from anything. And one of the things she's taken on recently is hunger on college campuses. Students who are paying everything they can to attend the school, and many of them are in class, but at night, homeless. In class, hungry. Trying to live what we're told is the American dream. But do you really need to put that pressure to attend a four-year university? Who's selling that to us? And it, is it a dream we can afford? Soledad's gonna join us to talk about it. It's a big show. It's what hits home to me very much so. My grandfather was a sharecropper with a second grade education. And I tell people all the time, I take his advice over any professor in Harvard. So the university doesn't make you, you make you. And we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> Joining the conversation in Cyber Hall, let's give it up for our TAM fam, Cedric Henry from Monticello, Florida, watching on Fox 49. <laughs> and Sean Hopkins in Lake Como, Pennsylvania, not Lake Como, Italy, watching on BRETV. I was about to ask, is George Clooney there? He lives in Lake Como, Italy. Thanks, fam, for joining us. We love our Cyber Hall. And don't forget, go to TamaronHallShow.com. That's how you can join our audience from home and watch the show. And you don't have to be here if you're still family to us. And speaking of someone who felt and feel like he is our family, Kobe Bryant, uh, the outpouring for Kobe and his daughter Gianna have continued after that tragic helicopter crash on Sunday. Kobe is being honored across the world. He grew up much of his life in Italy. They're remembering him there. Kobe Japan, paying honor and respect to him there. Last night, NBA players took a moment of silence, many of them wearing his jersey. New York City, where we are right now live, paid tribute by lighting the Empire State Building in purple and gold. Uh, these seven other victims have now been officially identified. John Altabelli, his wife Carrie, their daughter Alyssa, she was 13. Sarah and her daughter, Peyton Chester, Peyton, 13, Ara Zobayan, Christina Mauser. So we now know the faces, the names, but if we're lucky, we will never know that heartbreak mm -hmm. of losing a child and losing a family member this way. To get us caught up on this story, let's go to our affiliate, ABC7 in LA. We have the co-anchor of the morning show there, Brandy Hitt, standing by. Uh, Brandy, the Lakers have postponed their game, which is unprecedented, but expected. Uh, it's a very rare decision, but necessary yeah. here. Yeah, we definitely rarely see this happen, but we understand why, Tamron. I mean, this community is reeling right now. So many people still don't believe that this has actually happened. And to think that the Lakers and the Clippers, who were scheduled to play today, were going to actually be able to do that. I don't think most people thought that this was going to happen. So the NBA um, decided to go ahead and postpone this game. And you got to think about what so many of the teammates and the people who looked up to Kobe are trying to you know, think about and remember him and mourn and then still play because we're in the heart of the season right now. It wasn't going to happen. In fact, the Lakers found out about this crash on Sunday while they were on a plane. Um, so many of them emotional. LeBron James also um, just being able to now write about how he's feeling on Instagram overnight, um, saying that every time he thinks about Kobe and Gigi, because they all knew each other, um, it just brings him to tears. And LeBron is now trying to focus on keeping that Lakers legacy. Also hard to think about, he spoke to Kobe. On Sunday, um, you know, LeBron passed one of Kobe's records and Kobe tweeted out a congrats to him and they talked on the phone about it. And he says that he did not know that that was going to be his final conversation um, with his brother, somebody he looked up to. And now he's playing for the Lakers. So their game has now been postponed. That was going to be played today. The next time the Lakers are going to play here at home in Los Angeles is on Friday. That's the next scheduled game against the Trailblazers. And fans are doing whatever they can to get these tickets because they want to be there. They want to show their support. Tickets are going for the upper deck nosebleed starting at $900. Um, these fans are dedicated. Well, we have the Clippers and the Lakers here. This really is a Lakers town and a town that just adored Kobe Tamron.